In today's video, we are going to learn how to shoot B-roll using your Fujifilm X-H2, X-H2S or X-T5 and the Blackmagic Design Video Assist 12G, 5 inch or 7 inch. We are going to talk about B-roll, about all the gear that you need and all the settings that you must do to be able to shoot B-roll with your Fujifilm camera. Okay, so first, what is B-roll? B-roll stands for Blackmagic RAW, which is a video capture format that you can find in Blackmagic Pocket 4K, 6K or other cinema camera. It is also available on some mirrorless camera like the Fujifilm X-H2, X-H2S or X-T5, but those cannot record this format internally. They have to use an external monitor for that. The advantage of using B-Row is that you retain more information within your footage, such as the metadata of your camera, like ISO, temperature, but also more colors, because now you go from 10 to 12 bit colors. And this is one of the main formats used in the filmmaking industry, especially for color grading. However, if you work with B-Row, it's important to notice that you will most likely have to switch your editor to work with that footage using DaVinci Resolve. I myself have switched to DaVinci Resolve for about two months now, and so far I can say that it's definitely the best editor that I've worked with because it incorporates editing, color grading, audio mixing, all in one big solution that is complete and really easy to use. All right, so now that you understand a little bit more about B-Row, let's talk about what you will need to be able to shoot B-Row using your Fujifilm camera. First of all, you will need your Fujifilm camera with an external recorder able to record in B-Row. For my part, I'm using the Blackmagic Design Video Assist 12G 5 inch. I reached out to Blackmagic to ask them if they could lend me such a unit so that I can make some tests on it using a Fujifilm camera. And I want to thank them because they were really supportive when it comes to uh, providing me with a unit, but also answering all my questions. So shout out to them. I will definitely make a review of this external recorder in a future video. So if you don't want to miss it, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Now you are going to need a battery also to power this external recorder, an HDMI cable, either a fast SD card or an external SSD that you can plug to your video assist to record the file that you're gonna produce. And finally, I would also recommend a cage for your camera so that you have additional point of attach and your camera stays safe and is protected. And that is pretty much all the gear that you need with the lens, of course, to get started with B-Row on your Fujifilm camera. So now let's mount everything and let's see how it looks. All right, so now that your camera is ready and that the monitor is mounted on top of your camera, it's time to check the settings that are necessary for you to be able to record B-Row. The first important step is to make sure that you have the correct firmware to be able to use that B-Row footage. This is the firmware that I use for both the X-T5 and the Video Assist 12G 5 inch. So if you have at least those firmware, you should not have any issue recording B-Row on your Fujifilm camera. Next, you want to turn on your monitor, just press the button on the side. And as you can see, the monitor should turn on almost immediately. And I invite you to click on this little icon on the top right side of the video assist. Here you're gonna have a simple interface to be able to choose your import source and your codec. Now I invite you to choose HDMI as an input and set the codec to Blackmagic RAW. Now from here you can either select a continuous bitrate or a continuous quality. 
I usually shoot at continuous bitrate so that it's easy for me to foresee how much data it's gonna take for a simple duration of footage. Basically those are compressing format, 3 to 1, 8 to 1, 12 to 1, etc. The smaller you go 3 to 1, the bigger the file is gonna be generated. I usually go for 8 to 1 and it works pretty fine. All right, so now if you go back to your main screen, what you can see is that the Blackmagic Video Assist will tell you that the video codec that you're currently outputting to the HDMI from your camera is not recognized. And this is because the Video Assist expects Blackmagic RAW as an input, but currently your Fujifilm camera is not set to do so. So now let's go to your Fujifilm settings. Click on your menu and go to your movie list setting. And from there, I invite you to go into the HDMI section of the menu and enable the RAW output. Here you can choose both your resolution and your frame rate. Select it the way you want. For example, here I'm selecting 6.2K at 24 frames per second. And now I can just come back to my main screen and as you can see, your video assist should now receive the footage from your Fujifilm camera. If that's the case, you're pretty much done with the setting. Although I would add one extra point. If you intend to record for a long amount of time, I would turn off the automatically uh, power off function of the Fujifilm camera to make sure that your camera, which is not aware whether or not your video assist is recording, doesn't turn off automatically. To do so, go to uh, settings, power management, and just turn off the automatically turn off function. So if you see your footage being properly transmitted from your Fujifilm camera to your video assist, then you are done when it comes to the settings. All you have to do now is to manage your exposure, your focus, and just press the record button on the video assist. So let me know if you have any question on the topic and let me know if you want to know more about the Blackmagic Video Assist, whether it is a review of the recorder itself or how I use it myself in some projects that I took part in, or even if you want to know more about how to work with B-Roll. Thank you for watching today's video and if you've missed it, check out this video right here where I talk about this beautiful cage for the Fujifilm X-T5. See you there.